Look at that color. Isn't that amazing? What a beautiful lizard. He's now sort of moving down the tree and he'll be looking for flies and grasshoppers and probably the odd termite that comes to stand on the tree. Now this is the male and the male has this blue head in order to attract females and the female doesn't have blue head at all, she's just brown. And you'll find that a lot in the animal kingdom. We find it with the birds, we find it with many different creatures, that the female is often less colorful than the male. And I wonder if you can tell why that should be the case. Why is it that the male can be this brightly colored and the female isn't? And the answer, there are lots of different answers, but the main answer, of course, is that the female has to do the business of egg laying in the case of the reptiles or in the case of mammals or in the case of birds often. She's got to do most of the looking after the eggs and the youngsters. And if you've got a blue, great big blue head like this, well then a predator is going to see you much more easily than if you're brown. So if you've got to do the bulk of the parenting job, if you've got to be the most effective parent, well, then you need to be avoiding predators. And that's why the females often, the mothers, don't have such bright colors. What an amazing creature he is. That is the blue-headed tree agama. I suppose you can't really tell how big he is from where you're sitting all the way there in South Carolina, but he's about, oh, I don't know, I'm going to say three quarters of a foot tall, so he's probably about nine inches, nine inches long. And there we go.